Uganda is not about to run short of pioneers. Dr. Gladys Kalemaziri Kusoka is one of these first having pioneered wildlife surgery and conservation of endangered mountain gorillas. She is revered for establishing the first veterinary department in Wildlife Authority. She also led a team that investigated the first cabbies outbreak in mountain gorillas that resulted in the death of many. Over the years, she has been recognized for her outstanding work in treating gorillas and conservation through public health. The most recent one being the World Prestigious Award for Environment from St. Andrews University, UK. The award recognizes contributions to environmental issues and concerns. Dr. Kalima, however, faces some challenges in her line of work. The training in the Royal Vet College, University of London, and when I returned in 1996, I got the job as a first veterinary doctor for the Uganda National Parks, which later became Uganda Wildlife Authority. And the reason why is because they needed a vet because gorilla tourism had begun and they were concerned that tourists would make gorillas sick. She recalls the day an elephant charged after her. But I've been charged by gorillas very many times and it's frightening, but you're not supposed to run. You're supposed to just stay still. Because once you run, you everyone else on your team, someone can get hurt. So with gorillas, you have to be very, very careful. Yeah, sometimes, one time I was in a tourist group and a gorilla, a female gorilla made some sound. The male gorilla came and the inexperienced ranger was going to run and I had to stop everybody from running. So people who are experienced and have worked with gorillas for a long time know that you shouldn't run when a gorilla charges. Her prayer is to have more women in leadership positions to influence policies, conservation and tourism in Uganda and the continent at large. To have more women leaders in leadership positions in conservation, because within the conservation sector and environment sector, there are very few women in leadership positions. So we're trying to encourage this. And it's a big problem all over Africa. Through her work, Kalema Zikusoka is also advocating for integrated approaches that balance human needs with conservation. Do you get attached to, to some of them, yes. I don't know if it's a good thing or not, but I do get attached to the, some of them. Yes, some of my patients, my gorilla patients. I can you was very special. I took this photo and it was stylized. He was staring right at me, trying to see my reaction, and welcoming me. <laughs> Dr. Halema has also established conservation through public health, a grassroots non-profit organization that promotes human wildlife coexistence. Zahara Bigava, UBC.